Mellow TV Sports gets out of the block with some track and field news as Kimberly Williams was the only Jamaican to land a podium topping finish at yesterday's United States Track and Field Golden Games, a World Athletics Continental Gold Meeting at Mount Sac in California. Now, Williams came within two centimeters of her personal best to win the women's triple jump with a jump of 14.62 meters while qualifying for the Tokyo Games. Daniel Thomas Dodd placed second in the women's shot put with a distance of 18.91 meters, while Lauderica Cameron threw a personal best 18.33 for sixth. In the women's hammer throw, Kadeen Johnson had a best hurl of 52.38, finishing at the back of the six-person field. World Under-20 double sprint champion Brianna Williams finished third in the women's 100 meter in a time of 11.15 seconds, with Veronica Campbell-Brown doing 11.31 for fifth. In the women's 200, Williams' 22.96 placed her in eighth. Rochelle Burton, a season best 13.32, was 12th overall in the 110 meter hurdles, while Shen Salmon, 56.28, was 5th in the women's 400 meter. Natoya Gould did a personal best 4 minutes 08.66 seconds for 8th in the women's 1500 meters. Kemar Mowat, a season best 48.90, was 4th in the men's 400 meter hurdles. Meanwhile, International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach has cancelled a trip to Japan because of surging cases of COVID-19 in the country. Now, Bach was to visit Hiroshima next Monday and meet the torch relay and then probably travel to Tokyo. The trip was made impossible because of a state of emergency in Tokyo and other parts of the country that has been extended until May 31. The postponement is an embarrassment to the IOC and local organizers with the Olympics opening in just over 10 weeks. Organizers and the IOC have repeatedly said the Olympics will not be cancelled and will be, quote, safe and secure. Japan has attributed 11,000 deaths to COVID-19, better than many countries, but poor for Asia. Variants of the virus are spreading with reports of public health systems coming under pressure. Public sentiment in Japan continues to run against calling, hosting the Olympic Games in the middle of a pandemic. Between 60 and 80 percent of Japanese people in polls have said the Olympics should be cancelled or further postponed. An online petition calling for the Games to be cancelled gained 300,000 signatures in just three days. Meanwhile, Japan tennis player Naomi Osaka has expressed mixed feelings about competing at the event. Men's player Kei Nishikori has expressed doubts about whether the IOC and local organizers are doing enough to plan for a worst-case scenario of hundreds or thousands of coronavirus cases at the Games, while Serena Williams has raised doubts over her participation due to the current travel restrictions in place, which is preventing her from taking her three-year-old daughter with her in July. We kick it over to football news now. The possibility of the Champions League final being held at the Wembley Stadium appears to be growing closer. The UK government will be meeting virtually with UEFA and the FA today to discuss the situation and a decision is expected to be made by tomorrow. Turkey, where the final is due to be held on May 29, is still in the midst of a national lockdown with a recent surge in coronavirus cases. It is currently a red list country, meaning travel is not permitted for leisure purposes. The UK government is keen to help facilitate hosting the All English Final at Wembley for safety reasons, as well as being able to facilitate Manchester City and Chelsea fans attending. UEFA is understood to have ruled out any venue within the UK except for Wembley and is seeking guarantees of quarantine-free entry to the country for its delegates, along with media, sponsors and other VIPs. From May 17, outdoor sport venues in England are due to be allowed up to 10,000 fans 
or 25% capacity, whichever figure is lower. However, 20,000 have already been earmarked for the Champions League final, which would mean it would need to run as a pilot event. We bowl over to cricket news now. Shaheen Afridi claimed the career best figures of 5 for 52. This as Pakistan wrapped up an innings and 147 run win over Zimbabwe early on today's fourth day of the second test in Karare, clinching a 2 0 series win. Pakistan needed just one wicket for victory as a play got underway on the fourth morning and it took a little over 20 minutes for Shaheen to induce an edge from Luke Zhongwei, 37, to wicket keeper Mohamed Rizwan. Final scores of the match, Pakistan 510 for 8 declared, Zimbabwe 132 and 231 following on. Pakistan also won the first test ban innings and 100 and 16 runs. Anthony Davis's 42 points and 12 rebounds along with the Lakers' 13 made shots from three-point range overwhelmed the Phoenix Suns in a 123-110 win last night in the NBA. The Suns are now two games behind Utah atop the Western Conference with only four games to go. The Lakers, who had lost eight of its previous 10 games, were without LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, and Dennis Schroeder. Also winning on the night were New York, Miami, Dallas, New Orleans, Chicago, Sacramento, and Minnesota. Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with the play of the night, Ante Rebic's goal for AC Milan versus Juventus. Rebic! Oh, that is a peach! What a fantastic finish! And Paolo Dybala, presumably about to come on, looks away in abject disgust. Ante Rebic! And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Tamara McHale.